Oh, gosh. Oh, peace and blessings a whole lot of love, fam. Not the less is the worst, man. Hypersomnia is the worst to have. They're sleeping all over the place. Like, it's 5.39 a.m. I don't have to get up and go to work. I went to bed at, like, 9. Fell asleep at 10. 9 something. Woke back up at 11. No. I went to bed at... No, I didn't. I went to bed. That's... I went to bed at... 11. And I woke up around three times. And I was 5.39. And I ran in the bed and can't go back to sleep. So I think I basically, according to my sleep app, I only got four hours of sleep. And I'm up. I'm going to be up for a minute. Then I'm going to fall back to sleep. Then I'm going to fall back to sleep. And then I'm going to get up for the rest of the day. And lately I've been having sleep attack. Two of them. I used to get, I was getting one, but I haven't been going to bed like I'm supposed to. That's the problem. See, for me, I have to go to bed at the same time every night and wake up the same time every morning in order to find some relief, not complete relief. But if I have a, a regular sleep pattern, I will have a sleep attack like one in the afternoon. And then it'll be time for me to go to bed like 8.30 because I've been going to bed different different hours. I'm waking up, can't go back to sleep. This is the worst to have, y'all, I tell you. And then, is you be sleepy during the day, like, we was having a staff meeting and a sleep attack came on, and she wanted to be meditating. <laughs> I couldn't meditate, I'm sleepy. And then you got the lights out, I'm sleepy and now I'm irritable because you're talking while I'm going through this knock a leopard attack. It was irking. Yeah, but it's worse. Don't take a man to sleep, y'all. Go to bed at a regular time and get up at a, a decent hour. Do not take your sleep for advantage because it's the worst disorder to ever have. To be sleepy and can't go to sleep. To be sleepy. In the middle of the day, like 12 in the afternoon, while someone's sitting there having a conversation with you and you yawning, and they probably think you bore the conversation is boring when you have an issue. This shit is fucking worse, I swear. Now they got me on this new medicine called Wake It. And they said it takes eight hours, I mean, eight weeks to work. I'm on my third week. I got five weeks to go to see if I see any changes, but I don't see no damn changes now. And the medicine before this was called Omnifil. Now, that, with that medicine and going to sleep at the same time every day, I found some relief, which I was falling asleep at four, and my sleepiness was decreased somewhat. And I wasn't falling asleep going home. Now, but it had side effects because it was giving me anxiety and making me depressed. <laughs> So I had to stop that. So they got this new weight kit medicine that was damn near 2000 something a month. No, 2000 and something for yeah, a month worth of supply. So why? <laughs> it going to take eight weeks to work. It better work. It better, better work. All right. I'm, I got my heating pad on, with my massage on my back because the arthritis in my spine is acting up. But I'm going to try to go back to sleep.